Hello and welcome to another hacking video. My name is Ed. In this video, we're going to be looking at using LDAP search to do reconnaissance within Active Directory. Uh, this can be looking for domain admins, computer accounts, domain users, and everything else you can think of in the domain. So I've put together the, these four commands. There's obviously a lot more. You can customize it according to how you want to run it and how you want to do things. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to check who is a domain admin. If I copy the command and paste it, you'll see it comes back with uh, a number of responses is two. And we can see that we've got two members here, user one and user two, sorry, and this Edward account. If I run the same command again with a user that is not a domain admin, we can still read this information as you can see here. Now I'm just going to clear the screen. Now the next thing we're going to do is we can do an LDAP search for computers. Now obviously if it's a big organization, you're going to have hundreds of entries here. You're going to want to send this to a CSV or text file. This comes back with uh, obviously six um, entries. We can see that We've got our exchange server B, we've got an exchange server A, we've got a domain controller, etc. Let me clear that out. Now, this one I specifically left like this because the OU structure is different. And you'll see it's not going to find anything from a domain user perspective with this command because I don't have the structure correct. My users are not in domain users, they're in a different OU. So you can see you don't really get much information, which is fine. Um, that is why the bottom command, which gives you pretty much everything in the domain. If we run this, it will give us a lot more responses and you'll see that this one said domain users, this says TLAB users and user count is three. So there's a user three here, there's a user two, there is a user one, etc. So when you're doing reconnaissance, obviously there are other tools that can do the same things. Um, you can also use RPC client and all those, I've done videos on those as well, but it's just something else you can work with um, to get information like you're not going to just use one tool because sometimes one tool doesn't work or it gives you inconsistent results where you're going to have to use another tool you might have to use in packet to get information it all just depends on the given scenario at that given point in time but just something i wanted to show you for me this is working i use it i do lean on other tools as well Again, it's what works and what doesn't work for you. And it's all based on how locked down the environment is and what's restricted, et cetera. If it's an exam, obviously it's a different story versus a um, client engagement because they have more security controls in place, etc. So I hope this helps you out. If you like my video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.